Well, hello folks. This is an introduction for the new course I'm making about using Go or Golang for absolute beginners. Here's why I'm doing it. First, I think that Golang is a pretty fantastic language. I actually do. I know you can read it on the screen there, but I really do. Second, most if not all of the material about this language assumes you already have a basic idea of programming. This makes sense in some ways as Golang is often used to run the computers behind websites, that is the servers. And most people who do this already have a lot of computer knowledge, so that's fine. But one of the great features of Golang is how well it gets you to structure your code and to think about learning these ways of thinking that will help anyone, even if they come to work in another language later on. So, what's the plan? Each lesson, I'm going to write a small program which will introduce a new topic and probably give a couple of library functions too. More on those later. And at the end of each lesson, I will give a challenge to you. At the end of each lesson, I will give you a challenge to complete before the next lesson. And then at the beginning of the next lesson, I'll complete that challenge and review what we learned and then begin the next project for the following lesson. So I mentioned library functions. What are they? Well, let's start with a function. A function is a way of naming a set of instructions so that you can use it again in lots of different places where appropriate. And often when we write a program, we want to do that. We want to use the same pieces of code. We don't want to keep writing the same thing again and again. So if we stick it in a function, that saves us a lot of bother. But the people who write these languages like Golang or any other language, they, they find that there are things that everyone wants to do. And so they make a bunch of functions that do that for them so that we don't all have to write the same function before we can do anything. And that's a library function. So as we get going, I'm going to use a couple of library functions. And if you see me making a call to a function that I haven't already defined in that lesson, it's probably a function from this huge great list of functions called the library. But don't worry about that, because for the challenges, you're only going to need to use the functions that I've already introduced. So what are you waiting for? Let's get on to the lessons. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, and like and subscribe and all the rest. Thanks.